Air India flight from Trichy to Sharjah. It has faced a hydraulic issue. The landing gear is not closing. We're given to understand that it, there is a mid-air glitch that has happened for this Air India flight that was uh, taking off at 5.40 p.m. from Trichy to Sharjah. The pilot has declared emergency. There are 140-odd passengers on board and we're given to understand that it's circling in the air for the last hour or so. Air India flight from Trichy to Sharjah, 141 passengers on board. The bottom of the landing gear, the bottom wheel of the plane did not close in as was expected, as a result of which the plane is now circling in the sky. Pilots are trying to land once again at the Trichy airport. If the landing gear does not close, then they will attempt what is called a belly landing, which means the flight lands on its belly, uh, which could also potentially mean that it could lead uh, to an accident. More than 20 ambulances, uh, fire engines are all there at the Trichy airport. A large number of ambulances from the Trichy district headquarters have been called in as well uh, to try and get to the bottom of this. This is a big breaking story that is happening right now. It's a flight, Air India, from Trichy to Sharjah that took off with 140 passengers on board. Uh, the landing gear did not close as a result of which uh, now this, um, this flight is having to make an emergency landing once again in Trichy. It's a Boeing 737 aircraft. Uh, the aircraft is circling around the skies uh, around Trichy to try and reduce the fuel so that as and when the belly landing happens, the impact is less because the fuel has been burnt out to a great degree. So therefore, the impact on belly landing will be much less compared to uh, uh, if it were a full tank. We're also awaiting more details from Air India. Yash Goel has more on this uh, on the phone line for us. Also, Purnima Mudli joining us on the phone line from Trichy. Purnima, uh, what is the latest that you have from the air traffic control authorities in Trichy? Well, in fact, the district administration uh, uh, says that in another 10 to 15 minutes, the landing will take place. That's the bit of breaking information that we are getting. The collector of Trichy uh, uh, says that within the next 10 to 15 minutes, the landing will take place. Uh, remember, the Air India flight from Trichy to Sh uh, Sharjah had encountered a landing gear issue. And the aircraft was uh, diverted back to Trichy. It's been hobbing around uh, the Trichy airport. 20 ambulances, fire engines, 18 uh, fire engines are all on standby. And uh, Trichy Airport uh, preparations are underway for any kind of emergency landing. One, of course, is uh, the belly landing. That, uh, that is one such scenario. But uh, there are two, three options that they are exploring. Uh, and in the next 10 to 15 minutes, uh, the collector has assured that the landing will take place. 141 passengers are on board uh, the flight and prayers are on uh, for their safety landing. Tell me, what exactly went wrong? The landing gear, when, when you say that the landing gear... Uh, got stuck or the wheels uh, have not retracted back in. What exactly is the problem and why did they decide for the flight to come back to Trichy? I believe it's been doing loops around the Trichy airspace uh, in order to reduce the fuel uh, weight so that even when that belly landing happens, the impact on ground is not as much. Walk us through that. The airport uh, director, the Trichy airport director, Gopal Krishnan, uh, confirmed that uh, the technical problem is because of the hydraulic failure. And uh, they detected the uh, technical glitch uh, uh, around 45 minutes after the takeoff, which is why uh, they decided to uh, uh, come back to Trichy for, uh, for landing, uh, which is why uh, they, they decided that uh, the landing should take place in and around Trichy. And they are looking at possible scenarios. The flight took off at around 5.40 uh, p.m., but around 6 uh, 40 p.m. is when uh, uh, is when the entire chaos began, and uh, that's when, as per the airport director, they say that it's the hydraulic failure, mm. and the rounding in uh, the airspace uh, is primarily to decrease the fuel before landing at Trichy Airport. This is the only scenario that they are exploring at the moment, and uh, they they say that in the next 10 to 15 minutes, uh, the landing will take place. This is the only option uh, with less damage, uh, is, is what the airport director uh, has confirmed. Okay, Purnima, stay on with us. Uh, Yash Goel is also joining us. So, just to bring our viewers up to speed, so at 5.40 in the evening, Air India flight from Trichy to Sharjah took off from the Trichy airport. It went up mid-air and realized that the landing gear is not folding back. So, they decided to loop back in, come back to Trichy and try and land. The only problem is 
if the landing gear is not folding back in, which means that when it lands, the wheels will get knocked off because the force with which it lands down and if the landing gear does not fold back in, which means that the smooth landing will not happen, the landing gear will get knocked off once it hits uh, or, or makes contact, makes impact. As a result of which, what they're trying to do now is looping around. We believe that uh, multiple loops have happened around Trichy airspace so as to reduce the fuel level and the weight that is there on the aircraft. Once that becomes light, the captain has taken a call that it will be a less risky or less dangerous landing even if the landing gear is fixed, even if the landing gear is not, uh, is not moving uh, as per uh, required norms. Let me go across to Yash Goel. Yash, have you heard anything from Air India? Uh, has this happened before where the landing gear has been faulty technically and therefore uh, the pilot is trying to sort of circle around the Trichy airspace as a result of which uh, the fuel load on the aircraft would be less and it will be a hard landing of sorts. Well, absolutely, Zaka. These sorts of technical glitches have been reported in the past and this one is also um, something which the pilots who are trained to actually fly these flights are not trained for. In fact, in multiple scenarios, these uh, pilots are given training to uh, execute a landing when something like this happened. Um, like you were talking about the kind of uh, strategy um, which uh, uh, the pilots are taking right now is very much so that only that they have to actually reduce the payload um, from the fuel uh, payload to the bare minimum to make that landing. Because right now, what we are understanding as of now is that the hydraulic pressure uh, machinery of this very landing rear um, is actually uh, found to be uh, technically faulty, which means that the kind of uh, bumpers and jerks which the landing gear needs to actually um, uh, to suppress uh, uh, needs to suppress those very jerks that system is probably not working so that is why the payload is actually decreased to the bare minimum and talking about Air India we, have heard, we haven't heard uh, anything as of now um, from Air India what we are understanding um, is that uh, um, the entire process which is being followed is as per the protocol which are being laid by both the DGCA and also by the ATC and these protocols will be followed before uh, the landing the final landing and the final touchdown is done and in fact um, uh, as per uh, uh, Purnima also and in fact what we are hearing from the ground is that uh, now uh, the fuel uh, the exhausting level of the fuel which uh, the pilots were trying to achieve, uh, were achieve um, is nearly uh, they are nearly about to meet and in fact in the next 10 to 12 minutes we could actually expect that very landing could take place but uh, like you mentioned there is a very hard possibility that it will be a rough landing so that is why all those precautionary me measures have also been put in place including uh, the fire, um, the fire brigades, and in fact, also the ambulances. But um, if you go by the experts in this in this very case, the pilots, the commercial pilots, are well trained to actually um, execute these sorts of uh, um, you know, these sorts of uh, landings. But uh, uh, we have to keep our fingers crossed because this is a real situation we are talking about, not a simulator situation. Uh, but uh, the kind of experience these pilots have, uh, we are hoping that this might this will be a smooth uh, one. And in fact, in the next 10 to 15 minutes we will get to know exactly how this landing uh, takes place. Uh, Yash, if you can walk us through, uh, apparently the DGCA, which is the Regulatory Authority for All Safety of Aircraft, uh, some days back had issued an advisory to all airlines on a potential rudder system issue in the Boeing 737, and I believe this is a Boeing 737 aircraft as well. Uh, this advisory was issued on the 7th of October. Uh, it was prompted by concerns raised by the U.S. National Transportation Safety Board, the NTSB, regarding a faulty component that could potentially jam the rudder control system. with comprehensive analysis on the go. Strengthen your portfolio with real-time market updates on the go. Create effective strategies with insightful expert opinion on the go. Grow on the go with CNBC TV18.
Now streaming live 24/7 on YouTube. For more news and updates, all you need to do is follow CNBC TV18 on all of our digital platforms.